Hi everyone, this is the Rookie, and today we're back with some new videos. No, it's not gonna be Danger Zone, unfortunately, but we have some new cool trade up videos. Today I'm gonna do a very specific trade up, and we're gonna go for a specific float, something I did for the first time. And I'm gonna walk you through the process, how to do it, uh, what you need, what it takes, and also the probably the problems you're gonna run into. So have a look, and we'll start with the first try I did. Yeah, as you can see, we have Ancient collection we go for ancient skins and yeah let's see what we get okay mp7 tall grass exactly what i wanted and i'm going to show you why because this time we went for very specific float we have a 0 420 1337 with a little surprise at the end and this i'm going to show you now because for this i have to go quickly to recheck and yep we're here Open the showcase, and here we go. We have a 0420-1337-69 float on an MP7 tall grass. And now for this video, I want to walk you through the process of how I did it, what it needs, and what problems you're going to run into. So first of all, I want to give credits to Quaxi. He did a guide on how to craft these custom floats. And if you don't know who Quaxi is, it's this guy. He's also very famous because he crafted this legendary AK-47 Hydroponic with a 00420-1337-69 float. It's one out of one skin. And for my next project, we're going for the all carved Jade. So for this attempt, I'm trying to use a 4-6 split or sometimes a 5-5 five five split because that still is a bit profitable. Um, I'm going for a 0021 average float, which will give me more or less this outcome. We have about a 14 or 70% chance if we take a 5 5 split to get the orc carved jade. So you see, it's going to take us a couple more uh, attempts. So for this, I'll buy around 30 or 40 uh, ski uh, input skins and filler skins. So I have around like 30 to 50 of them. And then I'll hope on next step, I'll hop into Cisco Exchange. Go to the filter settings, select industrial grade. There you can see all the inputs. I select um, all the, the fillers and inputs I need. Then we just click on selected. Then you sort by uh, best condition. And then on this case, I'll go back to high value because like this, I have the first, on the first row, I have all the CZs. After this step, there's a button up here, generate text. You click on it. Then you select plain text. Then you make sure that only exterior is selected here. And then you go do it it will give you all the floats of the skins you selected you copy it then you open some uh, note or excel or some other tool you paste it in there there you have all of it but that's not what we can use yet so in order to make this usable for our next step we'll have to delete we just need the float values not all the, um, the brackets and uh, stuff but we'll delete them and we have to add a comma in the end so we have to do this this you can either do manually or if you know how to do this in excel you automate it and for our next step we need to go to a website called anderson p196 it's on github i'll post the link in the description there we need to go to the iie 754 converter pull put in our desired flows in this case we need a double zero four twenty one three three seven sixty nine it will give us the iee 754 value of this it's very important so we pay, copy this and then for our next step in my case we will have to go to the float combination calculator generator and there we can paste our desired flow this is exactly the value we want we need to enter enter maxware and minware for this we'll have to go i use cisco stash i'll go there you see it goes from 00, zero to zero 020 for the arc half shade and this one you keep in mind we we'll go here we change it we put 0, 020 minimal where we keep it doesn't change and then we'll have to hear how much above the float to show we'll add at least uh, 10 or 11 zeros so that the value behind 69 is um, not going up or down. And once we have done this, you just click on generate combination with input floats and it will start calculating and you will see the input floats below. Okay, so we go back, we copy and paste it here. This is our list with all the floats we need with the inputs. We paste it in this uh, field. Okay, all the floats, and after you've done this, you just hit generate, and now we'll have to wait. So it starts calculating, it needs some time because it has to check. In this case, we have, I think we used about 40 or 50 inputs. I think in the usually you need between 30 and 40 should be fine to find the float. So we get our first hit, a couple of more hits. 
So the problem I have here in my case is that we have a combination. We use five uh, ancient inputs and five train fillers. So that makes it a bit difficult to find the right combination because this will also show me, for example, 10 ancient skins and 10 train skins or two ancient, eight ancients. And for this, I'll use the, the fact that we sort it by high value. So it will only show me the ancient skins first in, the, in my case in this case and then the train fillers after and this i can check out with the uh, float values because they will change after a while so they go up and then when i see the split coming from the next lower one from 001 again i can use uh, this one so this one i have to find the combinations that give me a 5-5 five -five split that's a bit difficult i'm not sure if i'm doing it right or that's the only way i found doing it or if there's a better way doing it, but I haven't found, I don't know how to use this this um, this tool very well. Yeah, so if anyone of you knows how to use this tool any better, and especially if we have this combination of input and uh, filler skins, let me know, post a comment. So this time we found our combination, I go in CSGO exchange, I'll sort by um, best condition, so I'll select the floats. As you can see on the right side I have them in a, the combination, I have them in another sheet. So it makes them quickly easy for me to see them. Uh, I select all them. So as you can see here, the first ones I have are the ancient ones, five. And um, then we'll use the train ones. Uh, sometimes you have to be a bit careful that you select the right floats, especially after once you're in in-game and select them in-game. Uh, um, so actually for this case, uh, for this try I did a 7-3 split, so yeah. Uh, yeah. So it shows you the output float. The problem here is with CSGO exchange, they stop after certain values, so you have to go save the contract and open it another window, so you get an extra uh, digit. And as you can see in this case we'll get uh, 0421338. So there's a rounding issue, so you're not 100% sure to get a 769. It's a bit of a problem. But yeah, for the first trade up, then I changed because I didn't want to do a 7 3 split. So I prefer like a 5 5, or in this case, I'm doing a 4 6 split. Yeah, it's a bit better. So as you can see, I think. Uh, yeah, so this is even still profitable if I hit any of the ancient skins. I think the, might, the dark water might even be. Um, break even it doesn't matter okay let's hop in game i have the trader prepared already let's see what we get wish me luck first try and we have desert eagle urban rubble not what we want but yeah so in this case i'll take my list again i deselect all the floats i use because it's easier you know they're making a new list and then once i have done this remove the 10 skins i used to so the 10 floats I just copy paste it go back to the side to the anderson p um, enter the new list here and then we just generate new combinations. So yeah, you will see if it gives you some outputs. Yeah, this is quite quickly. So it gives me a couple of outputs and we have to find again the right combination, which we have here. So this time we have another four, six split. And uh, that's what we're going for this time. Yeah, same here. It shows me a one, two, three, eight. I don't know what to do. Let's hope it's right. And we select all the floats, inputs, and yeah we have it ready wish me luck this time second try oh yes yes we got one that looks pretty good and oh wow it's a clean one too you know it has barely any scratches oh that's a good one let's check it out okay looks good one three three seven okay we cannot see if it's 69 here uh, for this we'll have to check in the in the inventory let's check it oh uh-huh, that's not what we want. So here we have a fail. We didn't get the 69. Yeah, that's an issue I ran into before too with other attempts. And this has something to do with the IEE754 conversion. That's how they calculate the float values. And apparently there's some rounding errors. So in this case, there's a few options and for this I want to show you some something if you go to CSGO float for example and you type in the 004213376969 float and you to the range until from 37 until 38 you will see all the possible outcomes and there you can see all 
that there's always the same range of floats. There's always like um, like groups that the same float, you know. So at, in the end, after the tens or eleven digits, they are a bit the same. So here in this case, as you can see, you know, we have before we have the three seven two two uh, nine four six. And then you have the good one with the sixty nine five twelve, and then after that is the thirteen three eight sixteen oh seven eight. So you have to make sure that you're just into the right gap and you get the thirty three the one three three seven six nine and not hit the other one. So yeah. Also rip for the poor guy who crafted his op prints and failed and went too high with his floats and he got rounded up and got the upper one, you know, that's a big rip I would say. <laughs> but still nice try. Um yeah, the same here if you go for zero four twenty you can see there's blocks of floats and yeah so uh, after the tenth digit i think there's a rounding so they round up or round down and you have to make sure that with the floats you selected you get into the right block and i haven't fully figured out how to do that yet i asked around i asked quaxi if he uh, knows how to do it because um, he has a bit more experience with that he says that it's uh, difficult to explain that's all i got <laughs> and uh, I'm no expert in this IEE 754 neither. I'm sure there's a mathematical way to be more precise with that, but for the moment there's no tool that gives you 100% uh, clearance on that. Um, I, I tried a bit of a stuff and I failed a lot. Uh, for example, I tried with the uh, St. Mark's as well and also my previous AUG here, as you can see. And um, yeah, here we have the 57 Crimson Wag. We have the, also got the 322. And the same for this Eagle Urban Rubble. And also here, this Tallgrass where I shoot a bit too far. I went to 38440. And yeah, so that's the issue I had. I didn't know really how to do it. I tried to find because CX Go Exchange is not really accurate or it misses one digit in the end to say that accurately. But then I started using the CSGO flow trade up calculator. Quaxi told me it's not super precise neither but at least it shows you um, the full range value, which in the end gets rounded or rounded up or rounded down into one of these blocks. So the, um, the value that shows you now in this example for the R carved jade is not 100% the float you will get if you hit it. So it will, it will, put, will be put into one of these blocks, either the, the closest one, I don't know in which um, uh, area it puts it in. So. Yeah, okay, let's try it again. So here, this time for this one, we have um, 807 in the end. We have this combination. And let's see if we can hit it this time. It's a 5-5 five, five split. Oh, we got Famas Darkwater. Not bad, but not what we want. So we'll continue our quest. And um, yeah, so next trade up. Yeah, for the next one, we also, we have, uh, we are overshooting a bit. We have three, uh, one, three, three, seven, eight, eight, one according to CSGO flow trade-up calculator. So I'm trying to overshoot a bit. And we'll, we'll try this combination, hope that this will help us out. Let's see what we get. Uh, Tech 9, Blast from the Pires, good outcome. Still a little bit of profit for those who are interested, but not what we want. So we continue. And uh, next attempt, same 5-5 five, five split. And this time we'll overshoot again, 8-1. Let's hope that this one will help us. 16.6% chance. Here's the same split. Let's see what we get. And yes, we have the Orc Half Jade again. That's good. Uh, it has a little bit of a scratch here. Uh, let's hope we have it done right this time. Let's see what this one it says. Okay, this one it shows 1338. As you remember, the first one that showed 1337. Let's see it here. Oh, yes. Yeah, finally we made it. Ah, yeah, finally. But honestly, I have no idea why or how it rounds up, rounds down. So yeah, leave me a comment if you have a, a tool, if you have an idea how to calculate it precisely, because yeah, I can imagine for those ones trying the Big Bang crafts, you know, like the AK-47 hydroponic, or maybe some of you remember the number one float, a AVP Dragon Lore, that has a triple zero, 420, I don't know how they do that to calculate that 100% precisely to do this attempt. Imagine you try that and then you fail. Yeah, I don't want to know. So, yeah. So this is how I, I did this specific float craft. Um, yeah, you can see it's not 100% perfect. 
Um, there's different ways of doing it. Check out Quax's video, I'll link it in the description. Leave me a comment if you have a better solution, a better way of doing it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and um, see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.